interview with, and you already know the first one. It works. It works well. And of course, the critics are all saying, well, you might do something with those deer, but you certainly aren't going to decrease the number of deer. That's what happened to fawn production over just the first four years. We started this in about 93 or 94. That's what happened to fawn production. And for those of you whose only interest in this talk is deer, this is the most important graph that you will see. Here's where we were, and here's where we are now. And that equates to a 60% reduction in the size of the deer herd in those communities. A 60% reduction. But you will continue to have a parade of skeptics and critics who come through Pittsburgh and other places and say, you can't reduce a deer herd with contraception. That, folks, is not my opinion. That's data. This is the percentage of the herd that we treated, and this is what happened to fertility rates. More pictures of fertility rates. And here's what's happening to the population. Here's where we started, here's where we are now. That equates to a 40% decrease in the size of that herd. And we haven't been at this one as long as we have Fire Island. But you'll still hear, you can't reduce a deer herd with contraception. But somehow, we have data that says you can. Very quickly, regulatory issues. Until now, Food and Drug Administration was the sole regulatory agency. And the opponents who don't want this used will say two things to you. You can't use this because it's experimental and it's not approved. The word approval, as used by the Food and Drug Administration, means over-the-counter or by prescription commercially. And we never had any intentions to make this a commercial vaccine. And in fact, we have taken steps to make sure it can't be patented and that it doesn't become commercial. So FDA didn't know what to do with us. Now, how many of you know someone who's taking a cancer drug? Probably a lot of you. All of those, no, not all, most of those, 90%, are not approved by the FDA. Their use is authorized by the FDA, as is our vaccine, done through something called an investigational new animal drug exemption. And that will only be issued by the FDA if you can provide pilot data that ensures them this is pretty safe. And then you're allowed to use this under their authorization. No, it's not approved. And because it's not approved, it carries the name experimental. And that's used to scare people. And the two thoughts that I'll leave you with, and you already know the first one, it works. It works well.